हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर हैंड्स ऑन ट्यूटोरियल आई होप कि यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ Ubuntu आई थिंक यू नो दैट दिस इज 20.04 रिसेंटली रिलीज्ड एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू इंस्टॉल PHP एंड MySQL Apache ऑन दैट एंड लेट्स होस्ट आवर एप्लीकेशन on ubuntu 20.04 and how we will see how it is uh, different from the previous version like uh, 18.04 and 16.04 i think this is the same way we will install php and mysql on uh, apache server and i think this is the uh, great uh, uh, thing we will discuss and step by step i will show you how Uh, we can install PHP and MySQL on that. So the interesting thing is, we will install on uh, the all the installation will be done through EC2 uh, Amazon EC2. You know that uh, we I prefer this uh, Amazon EC2 free trial, so this is free, so we can try it uh, because I have a Mac system uh, with me, so I don't install the Linux. So right. so i will install ubuntu 20.04 on ec2 amazon ec2 and i will show you how the php and mysql and apache can be uh, installed through the install in a ubuntu 20.04 so let's uh, get started so this is uh, aws console and let's go to the ec2 click here uh, Once EC2 is cam, then uh, we'll just uh, install or uh, launch our instance. So this is uh, you can directly launch from here. Click on that launch instance, and yes, you can find you can search here uh, for Ubuntu 20.04. Otherwise, you, you make it free tier only. Then it you can get easily. Yes. so you can see now this is ubuntu server 20.04 and we will install uh, within the this ubuntu uh, uh, operating system so we will install all the uh, php mysql and apache so let's select this one i am forwarding uh, this uh, launch of instance so i hope you know that how to uh, launch a instance so now uh, your instance is ready with ubuntu 20.04 so before you start please uh, check uh, your status check it should be 2 by 2 uh, checks so in green symbol that is most important otherwise uh, your uh, instance uh, would not be uh, in, uh, ready for your installation so let's uh, start installation so first of all you have to connect to your server through ssh so for that command is ssh minus i uh, your uh, file name like uh, your file name uh, we have a uh, existing uh, key we have chosen for that so this is uh, stored in ssh folder with, with with that folder we have a demo dot pem file name is demo dot pem file and your ubuntu is by default user name is ubuntu at the rate your ip so ip uh, is here is there so you can copy copy this ip and go to the terminal so paste it here enter yes so now uh, it will connect to your server yes it's connected now so let's go uh, choose your uh, op super user so that you can uh, install uh, without any hassle so sudo and su enter let's make make it clear now yes so first we will install uh, apache so for that you have to update the library of ubuntu so for that apt 
object enter so now your uh, all the libraries uh, for the upper apt is updated the latest version of everything what you install is uh, everything will be latest so let's uh, clear again yes so now we'll install apache 2 okay so for that command is apt install apache this is very simple we have already uh, done uh, this process uh, multiple time but this is more important we are installing uh, apache 2 and php and mysql in 20.04 this is the um, the most uh, important here so let, next is we will install mysql so for that uh, the install uh, command is apt install mysql server mysql hyphen server yes uh, the mysql after installation is done we will uh, make it secure uh, like we will add the uh, password for that so that it will be uh, secure and you can access uh, through the password so this is important you have to uh, create a password uh, at the time of installation uh, because uh, and this will help to connect your uh, mysql uh, from your program to make your installation secure so create your password uh, so that you can connect from your uh, program or application so command is mysql underscore secure underscore installation so enter so here uh, press y any other key uh, the question is valid password uh, component so yes so here is you can enter one so password strength would be uh, one uh, medium so you can set your password uh, with a numeric and mixed case and special characters so so i am putting my password sorry uh, password is do not match so let's try again yes my password uh, strength is uh, 100% so do you continue uh, with this password yes Maybe. So remove anonymous user, yes. Disallow root login remotely, yes. For now it's not required. Remote test database and access to it, no. Uh, reload privilege tables now. Uh, you can make it yes. So uh, this all done. So MySQL installation is done now. So you can connect directly uh, to MySQL from here, MySQL with the command of MySQL. So here you can check, so uh, you can uh, show database, let's check that command. So databases. So here uh, your system does a MySQL and all the default uh, databases is you can see so you can create your databases using command you know that create database abc yes so next 
you can see your uh, tab, uh, database is created so this is how you mysql install and create your database so let's uh, create uh, install the php now so make it clear sorry before that you have to exit then clear so now uh, we'll install uh, php and library uh, the, uh, for apache so so that apache can handle the php request and we'll also install uh, php uh, mysql uh, so that uh, we can connect uh, from php to mysql through the program so let's install so the command is apt install first we'll install php then library of apache the library lib apache 2 mode php then php mysql so this is the command for uh, install the php and library of apache 2 and uh, php mysql server uh, driver actually so let's install that enter yes so once php uh, is installed then i will show you one uh, simple html file so so that you can host your application uh, in, the in the same process so yes it's done now so now we'll check the same in your browser so let's check that go to your browser here and uh, before that you just copy your uh, ip so that you can browse yes enter so now you can check this is apache 2 and by default page is there so this is uh, how you can install php mysql and apache on ubuntu 20.04 so let's create one uh, html file so that you can easily uh, so let's uh, create html file from here so the path is same your hosting path so let's clear it yes so here uh, i will go through nano editor to location is bar dub 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 html uh, let's make it index.html otherwise you can make app dot html enter so html this is a simple uh, your you know that so but i'm uh, trying to show you because so that uh, you can uh, easily host your application here so here uh, h1 so path name is most important var dub 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 and html within that you have to put your uh, application there so here i can uh, write sorry this is my first application so control x then y then enter so now you will uh, you can access your uh, this page through browser so let's check that slash half dot html yes 
so your application is ready so this is how you can host uh, your application on ubuntu 20.04 so thank you for watching and i will uh, request you to subscribe my channel because this channel is only for the developers and this is the community okay so just please share and subscribe as much as you can uh, you can uh, refer your friend to watch these videos because this is purely technical and understand how the technology actually uh, in web application and web server can be done like you can configure uh, you can configure the websites uh, web servers through these tutorials uh, you can learn how to install nginx how to uh, install apache and the reverse proxy so a lot of things we are uh, uploading into our video uh, uploading in our channel so please like and share and subscribe and if if any doubt if you have uh, directly comment on that within the uh, two to three hours uh, i will uh, come back to you and give you uh, the solution for that so thank you so much